This is a Mary May Studio production, where gaming is not for just your average show. Hello everybody, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Stop to refuel here in Jackson. I had to head out of town to go have a rest. There's no rest stops here in town. Where am I going to get my next job from? I'm thinking... I'll go with my mouse. Walmart to Boise. Yeah, I like that one. Taking TVs to charged. Is there another Walmart? Oh, the, all the way across the city? I don't want to do that. Let's just go next door here and see what they have. Here, going in here. Thought I was going in there where that gate is. Only one, the Rock Springs. I'll take that job. I didn't even see what it was. So we're back with the dude. We're getting ready for another trip. Well, Boise would have been better option gets me closer to BC so off to Rock Springs that was a lot of driving back and forth just to get fuel and sleep I went and stopped to get some warmer clothes today it's supposed to be a cold one tomorrow A lot colder than it's been so far. The issue I'm having is um, it's hard to keep my hands warm when I'm working outside. Every time I think I've warmed them up enough, they're cold instantly as soon as I get back outside again. Okay, so I guess our week recap here I forgot to check on the sims but it's not a big deal I wasn't really wanting to get back to that yet anyway Minecraft has come out with their second part to their Caves and Cliffs update Maybe I should get back into Minecraft. Nothing new for this game other than Montana being announced. No release dates for anything yet. I can't see Texas coming out before in the first half of next year at least. I think it's going to be sometime later next year. And main for SnowRunner comes out in a couple days. It looks like my next video is going to be exploring main. And one thing I was curious about in farming sim, can you buy the sawmill? Because it now plays a role in production. I really need to take a look at that next time I... I'm into... Farming some 22. Hello, horsey. Looks like one of the horses from Sidlar Farms. Now, this is where I pulled off here to have a sleep. Right on the left. Just to drive all the way back again. I 
believe we came up this road last episode. I hate these small highways, you can't pass anybody. And if by chance there's this area that you can, the passing section is too short. So it ends up turning into a solid line when you're other in that other lane. You can get a fine for driving the wrong way. Like right now, I could pass them now, but it would take too long. Oh, this must be one of those livestock bridges. Wildlife bridges. Well, I've got most of my Christmas shopping done. Did it all in one day. Really happy about that. There must be a lot of ranches in Wyoming. What are you doing? Why are you slowing down so much? Still 70. I just watched a pretty nice documentary on YouTube about the Singer Building in New York. It unfortunately has been torn down quite a, a long time ago, but it's sure a beautiful building. I got the miniature version of it for my Christmas display. I never knew what it was until I watched this documentary today. It was actually a building for the head offices of Singer Sewing Machines. And it was a really cool building. It had its own power supply. Its own uh, central heating. Back in a time where central heating was becoming just a new thing. Everything was heated by radiators. And most power and heat were created by burning coal. Which is what the Singer building was. It was coal burning. But it was modern and efficient in its time. finally torn down in about 1967. Oh good, finally, get out of the way. You better not. Ah, you stupid idiot. Well, he must be okay now. Now, was that my fault? I was in my lane the whole time. I wonder if that's how the law works. If your lane ends, you just automatically are able to get in the other lane. And it's the person not letting you in that has the fault, or is in now a lane you want to occupy that the, that's at fault. I would have had to break hard or let him in. I couldn't have sped up anymore. Here, both vehicles are at fault. In that situation. We should be almost there. It's 12, 20 after 12 now. We're supposed to get there 12.50. Well, half an hour. You look at all the fuel and rest stops they have here. Why couldn't Jackson have all this? One fuel station and no places to sleep. Oh yeah, the Club Cafe. What Rock Springs is known for. For their clubs going to the cafe. 
Now what is this question mark coming up? Is it a viewpoint or is it a hiring agency? No, no. Oh, come on. Really? Well, that answers the question. It's a hiring agency. Get untangled here. Welcome back to Rock Springs! The rockiest of springs. Well, I got in two accidents. Of idiots trying to drive into me because their lane was ending. Red. How's that a red light violation? It's green. Here are your empty pallets, you use b, -b, -b There we go. Took a whole four hours, almost five hours. Well, we got time for one more. How about to Logan? Yeah. I like it. Forklifts. Here they are. And away we go. Oh, it looks like we drive right by a garage here. Not a garage, a uh, truck dealer. <clears throat> oh, heading back to Utah. Kentworth truck dealer discovered. Oh, there's a car there. I always find it funny how people merging onto a highway or freeway, they have to get on right away, even if they have a free flow lane. They have to make that lane change right away. You have a lane for a reason, use it. That's why we always get traffic slowing down on the freeway all the time. Because everybody on the freeway has no idea what's going to happen. The guys coming on want to get on right away. So I'm assuming there's going to be a scale because we're going over the state line. Maybe they'll want to inspect my forklifts again. sure they're chained down properly. They look chained down properly. That would be cool if you could strap down your own loads in this game. Oh, we're getting off here. Once again, to another single lane highway. In my other playthrough, I have a Peterbilt, I think. <clears throat> but I'm also twice the levels that I am in here. So the truck makes it up hills and around, gets up to speed so much easier than this truck does. Those are the perks of leveling up. You get to upgrade parts and get higher, better quality trucks, more powerful trucks. For now, we'll stick with the good year. Only up 26,000 anyway, we're not buying a truck just yet. 
Okay, so it's three o'clock. We won't get there for another two hours and a bit. This looks like the scale right here. Yep, they're pulling me in. Oh, it's on the other side of the road. Oh, now it's telling me not to go through. Oh, my trailer's hung up now, that's why. Well, I didn't find it, but it doesn't look like it penalized me. And around the corner, and I believe we should be in Utah. And here we are. I love how they have all these pullouts all the time in front of the state line signs. Reminds me of the trips my we went on as kids. I'd always take pictures at the Jasper sign and Banff signs. The national parks. No! Of course it has to be a bus. He had to pull out right in front of me, so I had to come down to a full stop, too. Yes, yeah, good. Get out of the way. Oh, it just disappeared. Whoops. Hit the rocks. Hit the sign. Hit another sign. Oh, boy. That's gonna... screw up the bumper a little bit. Oh, it didn't screw up the bumper at all. Look at that. Just did some engine damage, I guess. Well, how about we go take my time around all these curves really added up some time. Communicating with the train. I don't think you can hear me anymore. Once again, it charged. Oh, I should say once again. Finally did make it to charged. Never did deliver those TVs. Those empty pallets we delivered. Well charged, here are your forklifts. There you go. For four and a half hours. Well, it's after six o'clock. Let's check on the driver. There are two drivers now. You got used packaging, you got wheels with Volvo rims. <clears throat> and our journey today took us from Jackson to Rock Springs and then over to you, Logan, Utah. I'm going to end the episode there. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment if you wish to do so. I'm Joe. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will join the dude next time on his next trip across America. Have a great day, everybody.